Hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePillar.com, and today I'm going to make a card using pigment ink pads and the Cozy Mitten stamp set by My Favorite Things. Last week I did a video showing you what pigment ink pads can do that dye inks can't, so today I'm going to show you them in action. But first, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and hop over to CatherinePillar.com so you can get on my newsletter list. I share exclusive tutorials and videos that I don't show anywhere else, so I hope you'll join me. adorable cozy mitten stamp set by my favorite things it has all these really fun and adorable pieces to decorate the mittens and I am feeling like the best way to ink these mittens up is using pigment ink and that is because I can stamp color on top of color with a pigment ink and it will show up if I use dye inks the colors are not going to show up like they would with a pigment ink so I'm just going to stamp my mitten and you'll see I didn't get a really good impression. So one way to fix that is to use some kind of foam mat. I have a paper piercing pad by Stampin' Up. You can also use like that fun foam stuff you get in the craft store for kids projects or you can use a mouse pad. This is gonna help me um, get a really good impression here. This stamp is so big, so it really is a little, a little tricky to get get that full impression and you will see it's a little bit lighter here in the middle which I actually think is pretty cool because then it's just a natural shading effect all right now I'm going to use this really gorgeous color by uh, mama elephant it's called lollipop and I'm going to stamp this little star emblem in the middle you can see how incredible that pigment ink just really stands out we'll do the little topping on the mitten and then because this is a pigment ink it's like a paint it's heavy and it stays wet for a little while I'm gonna let this dry you could also do like a iridescent ice or clear sparkle embossing powder over the top if you want it to sparkle and shine so we'll let this dry while that's drying I'm gonna take this Nordic Prince stamp set also by my favorite things and I'm gonna stamp a little bit of a background I'm using this really great Fiskars stamp press and it's really nice because it's got these grid lines on it, so then I can line my stamp up and know that it's going to be centered and straight. Then I'm gonna do this bigger stamp in Lollipop. And then one more row of the lemongrass stitching at the top. Now I have my card base and I'm gonna take the Lollipop Mama Elephant ink pad and I'm gonna insert a piece of computer paper right inside here and then I'm just gonna run my pad down here and color part of the card base now I will link to a video that I have showing you the difference between pigment ink and dye inks for your reference I'm gonna add this Wow clear sparkle embossing powder pigment ink takes a while to dry so then it will be awesome as an embossing ink So it takes just a minute to heat up and then that embossing powder melts and then you basically have glitter paper. Now my card is really starting to come together and I was thinking that I wanted to do my greeting right along this crosshatch design here but I wasn't sure it was going to show up. So I did it on scrap paper first and I do like that look. So we'll just stamp this right on here. I'm using early espresso. I'll do the little mitten strings in early espresso also. So one dimensional in each corner of our top layer and then two dimensionals on each mitten. I added a rhinestone in the center of the stars on each mitten and then I'm just adding some here for some fun accenting and I see I didn't quite get a full stamped image right there so I can take a blender pen and just kind of try to fill that in just a little so that it's not so spotty. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned because I'm not putting these products away. I'll be making another card using the same goodies for Stamp Nation. So be sure to check it out. Have a great day.